Welcome to Roland Academy Support Tutorials series. In today's lesson, we'll go over how to troubleshoot print and cut files from Adobe Illustrator CS5 for Roland VersaWorks. We've broken down today's lesson to two parts. First, we're going to talk about Roland VersaWorks setup. And then we're going to talk about file preparation. Under file preparation, we're going to talk about cut data layer order, assigning cut lines to the print object, and transparency in the file. So let's start with Roland VersaWorks setup. When you run Roland VersaWorks or install the software, make sure you have the administrator write to the system. For this example, right click and select Run as Administrator. VersaCam VS420 is set up for this VersaWorks. VersaCam is a print and cut device. In order for VersaWorks to detect cut objects, a print and cut device must be set up. Now let's take a look at the settings in Roland VersaWorks. Double click on the A folder to bring up the QA properties. On the left hand side, scroll down to Quality tab. Make sure under Media Type, a cuttable media is selected. In this case, we're going to use Generic Vinyl 1. Next, scroll down to File Format. Under EPS Margin, make sure you add some margins to this setting. In this case, we're going to set it to 0 0.05. EPS margins is necessary to cut an EPS file and to avoid incomplete cuts on the EPS file. Next, scroll down to Cut Controls. Under Cut Controls, under Operation Mode, make sure Print and Cut or Cut Only is selected. This ensures that Roland VersaWorks will detect any cuttable objects in your file. Before we move on, double check the settings. Make sure the margin is set on the EPS margin. Then click OK. We have just set up Roland VersaWorks to accept print and cut jobs. We can check VersaWorks setting by adding a file with the cut data to VersaWorks. Follow these steps. Go to File, Add Job to QA, select your file with Cut Data, then click Open. You can also simply click, drag, and drop the file into QA of Roland VersaWorks. In Roland VersaWorks, if cuttable data is detected in the job, under Preview Window, Special Items, a blue letter A will be shown. You can also double click on the job itself to bring up the Job Settings window, then click on Zoom In to see the Dancing Ants, which represents cut line. Next, we'll talk about file preparation, cut data layer order. Open up your Adobe Illustrator CS5. I'm going to go to File, Open Recent File. I'm going to open up a file that I re created recently. And here's the file. Notice this is a vector data file with a cut stroke around it. Also notice that this artwork has two layers. There's, there's one layer called Cut Path, as you can see, and there's another layer on the top called Artwork. For VersaWorks to detect the cut line, cut data must reside on the top layer. In this case, simply click, hold, and drag the Cut Path layer to the top. So now you see the cut layer on the top. If you prefer to work in single layer, like you see here, make sure the cut path object is on the top of the other objects.
Working in Illustrator, another setting you must remember about layer is to make sure following. Under layer option, select options for your name of your option, in this case, cut path. A new layer option window will open up. Here, please make sure the print is checked. And make sure you do this for all your layers. Next, I'm going to talk about assigning cut lines to a print object. Open up your Adobe Illustrator CS5. I'm going to open up another file that I have prepared earlier by clicking File, Open Recent Files, and this is the name of the file that I prepared earlier. And here's the file. Again, this is a vector file with stroke line. When I select the stroke line, notice how the weight of the stroke line is currently set at 5 point. And the alignment of the stroke line is currently set to the inside of the stroke. At this point, cut data is not set correctly for this file. So let's fix this file. First, we need to assign the cut contour swatch to the stroke line. Before we could do this, we need to locate the cut contour or the Roland VersaWorks swatch. And this can be achieved under swatch, click on the option, click on open swatch library, other library, and locate your Roland VersaWorks folder under program files, Roland VersaWorks, Swatch and Illustrator, and then select Roland VersaWorks AI. Then click Open. Notice the Roland VersaWorks swatch is open, and Cut Contour is the first color. Another way is create your own new Cut Contour swatch. Under Swatch Option Window, click on New Swatch. Under New Swatch, change the color type to Spot Color. Change the color to any color you want. And under swatch name, change the name to cut contour with the letter C's capitalized. Then click OK. You just created a cut contour and notice how the stroke line has been replaced by this cut contour swatch. However, this file is still not complete. For VersaWorks to detect the cut line, the line must be aligned to the center of the stroke. And here you see the lines are aligned to the center of the stroke. Next, we change the weight. In Illustrator, we change the value to 0 0.25 point. And here is the new cut line. Again, set the stroke weight to 0 0.25 point and align it to the center of the stroke. An issue you may encounter is that you fill the area with cut contour swatch as indicated here instead of assigning the stroke line with cut contour. This will cause VersaWorks not to detect the cut data. So please remember, do not use cut contour swatch to fill an area as cut line. Only assign a stroke line with cut contour swatch for cut lines. Here's an example. Notice that cut contour swatch is applied to the stroke line. Another issue you may encounter is that cut contour swatch is applied to the design element rather than the actual cut object. Here is an example. This file has multiple gradients placed inside multiple compound clipping path. As you can see here when I expand the layer. To create a cut line around these objects, you would think that simply applying cut contour swatch to the outline and move it to the top layer will work. However, this will not work since the cut contour swatch is applied to the design element rather than the actual cut object. So let's try fix this file. First, with layer objects and groups being expanded, toggle off the visibility of the images that have been placed in the clipping path. Now only the compound path will remain visible on the screen. Next, 
Select both compound clipping paths you want to contour cut around and apply Cut Contour Swatch to the outline. If necessary, change the stroke weight to 0 0.25 point. Finally, make sure all objects in your layer are visible. And now this file is ready to be printed and cut. So make sure to apply the Cut Contour Swatch to the actual cut object rather than the design element. And here's the file added to Roland VersaWorks. Notice the blue letter A under special items and the dancing ants to indicate the cut line. Lastly, we're going to talk about transparency in your print cut file. Transparency is a great tool in Adobe Illustrator. However, this transparency interferes with cut data. Here's a file that I actually added transparency as indicated here. And when you save this file as an EPS format, here I'm going to tag the name with transparency at the end. you get following error message. When you read this error message, it says when spot colors are used with transparency, changing them to process colors outside the Illustrator can generate unexpected results. Click on Continue, then OK to save the file. When you add this file to Roland VersaWorks, notice that the cut data is not recognized by Roland VersaWorks. As indicated by nothing on the special items and also on the job there is no dancing ants. To fix the issue with transparency so that Roland VersaWorks can recognize the cut data, we're going to save the file as an EPS format again. So select File, Save As. This time I'm going to name it with Transparency 2 at the end. Click on Save. Notice that the same error message will pop up. Click Continue. Same EPS option window pops up. However, this time, notice that under Transparency section, you have a custom button there. Click on the custom button, a new window will pop up. It's called Custom Transparency Flatten option. By default, Convert All Strokes to Outline is checked. Uncheck this. Then click on OK then OK it again to save the file. If you prefer PDF, you can also save as a PDF. Click on File, Save As, change Save As Type to Adobe PDF, then click on Save. A Save Adobe PDF window pops up. Under cont uh, Compatibility, select Acrobat 4 PDF 1.3. Scroll down to Advanced Settings. Notice how under Overprint and Transparency Flatten Options, a custom button opens up. Select Custom and again convert all strokes to outline by default is checked. Make sure this is unchecked. Then you click on OK and save the PDF file by clicking on the Save PDF. When you add this new corrected file with transparency into Roland VersaWorks, cuttable data is detected, as indicated by the blue letter A 
and also by the dancing ants. So the key here is make sure the convert all strokes to outline is unchecked before you save it as EPS or save it as a PDF. When a file gets too complicated with many illustrator features, you can always rasterize the data. First, select your design, then go to Effect, Rasterize. Click OK on this rasterize window. Just rasterize your data. Then you create a cut path around your rasterized data. In this case, I created one beforehand. This concludes this tutorial. For more tutorials, please visit our website at www.rolanddga.com academy.